Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's a Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. So today what I have for you is R. Shea's Chocolate Dip Bacon Wrap Peeps. This is a double imperial oatmeal pastry stout. It's 12% ABV. That's going to be a, uh, uh, could potentially be a night ender. Now, I got this beer from the brewery. And this was brewed and canned. Well, this was canned on uh, March 31st of 2021. They brewed this for Easter of that year. And I saw it on social media, ran down there, picked up, uh, I believe I picked up a four pack of this and still had one of these sitting in my basement. Now it's an oatmeal stout, so it should have held up. We'll find out shortly. Now this beer was a beer that a beer day with TK reviewed way back, probably right around Easter time, back when he was doing, when he had first started out and was doing a beer every day where he got his name from, a beer a day. And this would be beer review day number 281 for him. And I'll uh, link to that, that beer review down below in the description so you can check out what he thought about it. Now, um, Arche is a really cool brewery. I've been there quite a few times. They've got two locations. One in, they're both in Akron. One's in Merriman Valley, which means nothing to me. And one's in Canal Place, which also means nothing to me. But I can tell you the Canal Place one is more downtown than Merriman Valley. The Merriman Valley one is more of an intimate, kind of smaller uh, brew pub kind of place. Really cool spot. And the Canal Place is huge. It's in a giant industrial building. Giant space. Great food there. Uh, both places have great beers. And sometimes they have different beers at each location. The interesting thing about the Canal Place one is the building is so big, there's actually a second brewery that's in that building that's no association with Arche whatsoever. It's called Missing Falls, which also puts out a lot of great beers I've also been to a few times. But like I said, this is the Arche beer. Uh, in recent months, Arche has run into a little bit of financial problems because right before the pandemic, they started some expansions and things, took out some government loans, and you know how the government works. As of recently, the, governments have just, the government has jacked the rates up on their loans. So they're struggling a little bit. Hopefully they can pull through it. Hopefully lots of people go out there and visit their breweries, buy up their beers, because our shade makes some incredible beers. I mean, if you've watched Beer Day with TK, he talks highly about them, and, and I have to agree. They put out some amazing beers. I've, some of the beers I've had from them have been some of the best beers that I've ever drank. So back to this beer, I did have it fresh wet, right after I bought it probably the weekend it was the weekend I bought it and I gave it a four on untapped I'm interested to see if this actually holds up to uh, what I thought about it what was that three years ago now it's it's January of 2024 so it'd be interesting to see if it still tastes as good or maybe even tastes better since it's a stout it's aged a little bit on the can it's not a whole lot here just their socials, and there's a QR code here. I'll screenshot that, and I'll put a picture of that QR code up there. It just says learn more. If you guys want to check that out, I'll make sure to put that up there. On Untapped, the spear gets a 3.94, but there's only 291 check-ins. Like I said, it was a very limited release. So on Beer Advocate, there was nothing. But that's pouring dark, dark, dark black. I mean, that's black as oil. Don't need to even look at my chart. Uh, 40 plus. It's interesting. I don't know if you could hear that. But that was like a soda head. That poured out and fizzed just like if you were pouring a Coca-Cola. And that ha has completely dissipated already. And it was very, very effervescent, very fizzy. Made that fizzy noise like if you were pouring a, a soda. That smells like chocolate and 
the sugar. Very sugary kind of smell, like a, a confectioner sugar. Um, I guess kind of like what a Peeps would smell. If you don't know what Peeps are, Peeps are this candy that comes out every year at Easter. It's kind of like this marshmallow thing. It looks like like a little a little chick. Um, they're generally yellow and coated in sugar. Kind of like the picture on the can. I'll see if I can find a good picture of a Peep and put it up there. But for those of you that don't know what they are, it's, it's a pretty big Easter candy around the U.S. Yeah, that's just... That's pretty much just sugar. Let's taste this thing. I mean, this is what, what did I say? 2021, almost three years old. Let's see if it held up. That's thick as motor oil. That body. Very thick body. Some interesting sweetness to it. And if this was brewed with with peeps, it's almost kind of a marshmallowy, sugary, confectionery sweetness. A very candied sweetness, but it's not cloyingly sweet. It's a very candied sweetness. And a little, little hint of bitter chocolate. Uh, it's got that kind of that slickness to it you expect from an oatmeal stout that that slick viscosity to it and at 12 percent, i don't really notice it too much i can feel a little bit of warming like down here but as far as in the mouth there's you don't notice it at all if you're familiar with higher abv beers I think you would know there's alcohol in this, but the average person would have no idea. This would be very dangerous. Uh, not getting anything from the bacon. I don't know if that's just a, a flavor that's become subdued over the course of it being aged. But it's got a nice sweet sweetness to it, I said. Nice chocolatey flavor. Uh, see if I can get it to fizz up again. Didn't do it quite as well this time, but it kind of, just like when you pour soda that goes in and then all of a sudden a little bit of fizz and you can even see kind of the, the carbonation popping on the top like you do on a, on a, on a soda. But other than that, it's just a smooth, sweet chocolate beer. Uh, again, I don't know about not picking up any bacon. But overall, after that many years, this is still a horns up. This is a good beer. It's aged well. And I hope this video ages well. And if it does, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know down below. Have you ever had any sort of chocolate dip, bacon wrap, peeps kind of beer? Some sort of Easter beer, especially beer like that? If you have, let me know down below. This beer was definitely a adventure tonight and as always embrace the adventure yeah there's some almost some cinnamon notes in there that's a good beer really is